Welcome everybody, Nanka here, and it's time for another episode of Sold in Shorts. Welcome everyone! <coughs> Sold in of the Grin Brothers here, and it's time for another Sold in Start of Nintendo Switch Sports. This first impressions video still has plenty more to show off, so as my five being currently crushed to death at the moment, I hope to show you off using the actual word. Uh, we fit, well not we fit, uh, switch sports slash ring fit leg strap accessory in the one game that actually utilizes it. Put your panning access through this play locally. One player. If you wear a leg strap, you can play sure. Unique mode with special rules. Let me see. Use your legs to score goals in a one on one shootout. Yeah. Okay, take my left Joy-Con. Okay. I've got as much space as I can manage here. <clears throat> like I don't even know if I've got enough room to properly kick, I'll be honest. So it's as far back as it can be. Hello, Silky. Looming Silky, that is... Mercy. Okay, let's shoot first. Okay. Oh, it's apparently shoot that's why. Okay. There's a very odd angle doing this. I should have more of a bit of practice for it. Okay. So it's a very simple kick motion. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah! Okay. Or goal! Okay, so I just got. This seems ludicrously easy. I'm assuming this guy uh, over here kicked in different ways, or hey, still can miss somehow. Not sure how. Yeah, I can already feel it starting to slip away. It's either that or my legs like uh, loss of blood flow. Ah, oh, I messed up. Ah, oh, because I was too busy pointing about you know the the circumstances surrounding my leg at the moment. Come on. Gobble, Suki, they're only normal. Also, I must admit, it does feel better for my ego that there isn't an easy, it's normal. You sort of like powerful, overpowered sort of thing. Yeah! There we go, aiming for my usual result. Mediocrity, let's go! Just about passing. Oh, come on, they get double points? Yeah, and of course they get that one in. I better get a golden ball. Okay, yeah, good. I get a golden ball. No! Oh, I can't believe that. Okay, repeat that. Oh, man, I lost to a normal mode. Oh. Okay, I can do this this time. I can do this. Being that, whilst they're chewing, I should also talk about my tea. Because today I've got with me, well, one I'm surprised I haven't actually written out and about before. I've got myself an English breakfast tea here. It's a black tea. Okay, let me go. Uh, give a. Yeah, okay, yeah. Legs working. I have legs. Oh, just. Okay. English breakfast tea. You know, the very classic traditional tea that we all Brits typically tend to have. People just usually refer to it as just tea because it's that iconic in common. Uh, it's a black tea. Uh, brew time is can vary, but usually three minutes, sometimes five. Depends on the person. Uh, preference is with milk for me. And I tend to like mine rather milky. Depends on the strength of the tea, of the tea bag itself. A Yorkshire tea for, a, tea, a Yorkshire English breakfast, for instance, rather for, a, you know, a bit more milk because, you know, it's a naturally stronger tea. Uh, brand I'm most familiar with, though, most common in this household is PG Tips. But really, English breakfast is one of the teas which varies more than just about any other I can think of. For instance, I'm not a huge fan of the Tetley teas, but... Oh, gosh, but it's spinning that. Oh, yeah, you're shrinking the girl. Why are you doing that? Oi. And the information on it, you know, on English breakfast, I kind of made this up by various sources, but a robust tea capable of smooth blending with milk and sugar. A hearty tea with numerous variations, but consistently good with milk. And hey, don't shrink it down any further! Well, I was supposed to get that! Look, 
the best you can do is tie with me, which would frustrate me a lot, but... Of course you'd get that. Of course you'd get that. Yeah, thank gosh it's expanded a bit. Oh, come on! How come that ball isn't shrinking? This is rigged, I tell you. Rigged. Like, look how tiny my goal is! Ah. Oh. And yeah, again, mine's still more very tiny. Oh, I'm punching too. I'm kicking too late. And mine's still shrunk down. Yeah, finally, I'm free of this. I am free. Finish. Yes, save me. Ah. Oh. One on one, okay, well, you know what? Ah, oh, let me get this strap off. Oh, I had to change into like uh, different clothes and everything just to do this. Because they wouldn't fit around my regular trousers. You know what? Let's actually try the English breakfast tea before I continue on any further. Now, English breakfast is quite milky. The English breakfast is quite an interesting tea because if you have it just black, it's rather bitter. Not as bitter as like an Earl Grey sort of thing, but it's like a decent amount of bitterness to it. It's surprising just how much the taste differs the moment you add some milk to it. It becomes a much more mellow tea, a much more soothing tea. There's like still a hint of bitterness at the back sort of thing you get. But otherwise, it's uh, mainly like a, like a nice little sweetness to it sort of thing. Mellow, like I said, is probably the best word for it. It's funny, if I told I shouldn't use the word nice for it, but I guess, you know, because uh, English breakfast tea is such a standard tea, it's like it ends up being the tea that you judge all teas by. So nice, I feel, kind of is the best way to describe it. It is such a... It's like, um, well, it's like how you don't have to think to breathe sort of thing. You know, it's just automatic, and it's just, like, instinctive. And that's kind of almost, and it's like a strange way to say, but I guess, you know, for a British person, not so much. But English breakfast is the equivalent to breathing. It's just a tea you just keep on having. It's the standard for all tea. That'll be me, you know, going easier. I have to keep a uh, uh, better attention to the straps and keep a better eye on it. Honestly, I don't think this kind of uh, football is good, well suited to, uh, you know, a uh, one-on-one -on -one environment, but... Man, the CPU are relentless when it comes to these uh, golden balls. Yeah! Oh, that's how you do it. You had to slide in the victory, you just do the you know flying head thing. You just slide instead. That's really cool. Yeah, destroyed you. You know what? I bet I can go even higher. I can go for a strong. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I'm not getting overconfident. I'm not getting cocky. I can destroy them. I'll obliterate them. They shall die beneath my heels. Yeah, you're going down, King Pierre. Yeah! Oh, that was a lot of stamina, but yeah! Go, go, you know, I'm gonna be careful because I know if I get too much of a head start, the golden beer will appear. Yeah! 
Yeah. Smart play. Smart play. Yeah! Got you there! Oh, there's still more to go. PS still wishes to challenge me. But he shall be destroyed! Please, I've already won here. How did I go backwards? What the heck? How did I go backwards? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sure what I need a double kick for, gotta be honest. <sighs> did it. You've been bested. Neil! Now, I gave Pierre an upper hand by not attaching it. Yeah, that was me without it. So, when I get this strap on, next time, it's bowling. Just in case this is the, uh, yeah, just in case this is the any episode, I never know. I'll figure out how to get this joystick strap strapping. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, particularly the comment part, because I love to be able to chat with uh, fellow video game fans. And cheerio, everyone!